Hey, what's going on people, Bear Fox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be going through Fall Guys new season 5's FPS guide in which I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS in the new season. A lot of you guys have been complaining about bugs and FPS drops and whatnot. So in this video, I am back again to give you a complete guide on best FPS. Make sure to watch this video till the end. Also, don't forget to leave your specs down in the comments below so I can reply to each one of you individually and without wasting any more time. Let's get started. Step number one is the essential window settings. As always, I would go through the best settings and for that you need to open up settings on your windows. Once you are here, go all the way down to gaming. The first thing that you need to do is enable game mode. Game mode will optimize your PC by turning things off in the background, allowing you to get much better memory usage whenever you play the game. This will indeed result in better FPS. Right beneath that, go over to the graphic settings and then make sure to head on to the change default graphic settings. In here, you need to make sure that your hardware accelerated GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for windowed games is turned on. This will really help you to improve your gaming experience. And before we move ahead, let's have a word from our sponsors. I would like to introduce you all to Obvious and Remote, a one-stop shop solution for using your PC anytime, anywhere, using your mobile phone. It's available for Windows, Android, and iOS. Obvious and Remote has a wide variety of features that can mirror your phone or PC and control it with a virtual mouse. You can even play games on it at up to 144 FPS with a customizable keyboard without any issues. If you need any other layout, you can create it using this feature. They have also recently added the security settings to keep your device even more safe. You can get Avicen Remote for free or you can get its game version to get access to your PC's game library and features to play from anywhere. You can even get up to 40% discount too and from the link in the description below you can get a free 7 days trial. They also have a smart plug that can turn your PC on or off remotely from your phone and it is really convenient and reliable. So links in the description below, go check out Obvious and Remote. Thanks for sponsoring this video. Okay, once you are done with that, you need to come back to the graphics section and then you will find a list of all of the applications and games that uses your graphic card on your computer. In that, you need to find Fall Guys, if not already added. You can always click on the browse button and add it from the installation location. Now, I already happen to have Fall Guys over here. So what you need to do is go to options and select high performance for both of the client and the client game. Now then go back to the gaming section and then go over to the Xbox game bar and make sure that this is turned off. You always need to make sure that your Xbox game bar is turned off as it consumes a lot of memory in the background. Turning this off will indeed help you to improve your FPS drastically. Step number two is de-animating your windows and this is as simple as it sounds. De-animating your windows helps you to de-animate and remove all of the unnecessary animations from your windows which will indeed help you save your memory. For that you need to search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and once you are here you need to click on adjust for best performance you need to select show thumbnails instead of icons as well as smooth edges of screen fonts so your windows does not look shit here but you will get the high fps now in the advanced section make sure that your process scheduling is set to programs a lot of laptop users might have it set to background services step number three is system configuration and this is where we need to play with our boot Simply open up system configuration on your PC and then go over to the boot section. Click on advanced options, select number of processors and choose the maximum number of processors right over here. That will help you improve your booting time as well as improve your performance for gaming in the long run. Simply click on OK, apply, OK and then exit without restart since we're going to restart our PC later. Step number four is defragging your disk and this is as important as it sounds. Defragging your disk, for that you need to go and open up your local disk C. Over here you need to right click, go to show more options and then click on properties section. Once you are here, go over to the tools part and then click on optimize and defrag drive. Over here you need to look for your local disk C only. If it has a solid straight drive, you can simply click on optimize. However, if you have a hard disk in your local disk C, you can click on analyze and defrag your device. You always need to make sure that your solid state drive is optimized and your hard disk is analyzed and defragmented. So right over here, if I click on the hard disk and click on optimize, it will start defragmenting the hard drive. 
that will improve your longevity and your hard drive's performance. While your SSD, you can simply click on optimize and it will be trimmed and it will help you to improve your performance. So that is how you have to do and make sure that for your SSD schedule optimization is turned on. Over here, run a schedule and make sure to do it daily. Click on OK and that will keep your SSD intact. Step number five is creating a restore point. And for that, you need to simply search for create a restore point on your PC. Over here, look for your local disk C once again. Click on configure and make sure the turn on system protection is enabled. Click on create and name it Fall Guys, just so you remember it and press enter. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step as it is really essential and if you forget to do this step, you might end up having your PC crash and once it is done, simply click on close and close system properties. Step number seven is the ultimate FPS pack which I've created for Fall Guys season five. You can simply download and open it up and in here you will find the first folder that is the CPU priority. You need to double click and find out which CPU you are using. Now to find that out, you can simply search for system information on your PC and then look for the processor over here. I have an AMD processor, but you could have an Intel processor. Also take a look on your installed physical memory as this will be really essential ahead. Now I am using 32 GB and an AMD processor. So I need to run the AMD CPU priority, but if you're an Intel user, you can run the Intel priority. Also make sure to run the increase power efficiency registry and that will help you out a lot. Second folder is the registry optimization where I have left these three registries. This will help you improve your CPU speed. This will help you to get the exclusive full screen in your games. And this one is the essential Fall Guys optimization. You need to double click and run all of them. Now, in case you don't like the performance, you can always set back to the default registries. Third one is the RAM optimization. And this is why I told you to remember your RAM. Now I'm using a 32 GB RAM. It could be different for you. So you need to use the RAM that you're using for your PC. Once again, if you don't like it, I have always set a reset to default registry in the RAM optimization folder itself. Lastly is the cleanup folder where I have the clean temporary files.pat and this is simply a must do thing. You can right click and run this as administrator. Now, once this window pops up, you need to simply press any key and this will help you delete all of the temporary and unnecessary folders on your PC, which will help you to get better RAM usage. Once it is done, open up Fall Guys for the best in-game settings. Okay, so once you are in your game, what you need to do is press the escape button and then go over to the options part. Then scroll down and for your resolution, you can always lower your resolution down to somewhere between 1280 by 720 at the maximum refresh rate possible. I like to play at 1360 by 768 at maximum refresh rate. For windowed, always make sure that this is turned off and vSync is turned off. Also for your FPS rate, keep it 3 FPS below the maximum refresh rate of your monitor. Let's say your monitor is 240 hertz, you need to set this thing to 237. If it is 144 hertz, you need to set it to 141. If it is 60 hertz, set it to 57. That will give you the best FPS possible. For preset, make sure to make it all the way down to low. Texture detail, go to high res. For the shadow detail, go for low. Motion blur off, bloom off, depth of field off, ambient occlusion. Always make sure to keep this thing off. Then for anisotropic filtering off, anti-aliasing off. And then both of these things are turned off and static lobby background should be turned on so you save fps even in the lobby also for your gameplay make sure that your fall feed font size is medium and once you're done with this always press the space bar to save the best settings go back and enjoy your game so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to do leave a like and smash that subscribe button down below. I have also made similar guides on most of the games out here. So make sure to go and check it out. We'll see you in another video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.